everyone, Animal Girl here, back with another edition of TV Talk. It's Tuesday, and that means it's Star Wars Day. And this week's episode of The Clone Wars was Jedi Crash. Well, on a mission to help Jedi Master Ayla Sakura, Anakin, Ahsoka, Rex, Ayla and a small number of her clone troopers end up on an uncharted planet. Even worse, in the escape, Anakin is badly injured and is in desperate need of medical attention. Realizing that someone or something intelligent lives on the planet Ayla and Ahsoka take Commander Blythe and three other clone troopers to try and find the inhabitants of the planet while leaving Rex to take care of Anakin until their return. However, the creatures they find are peace-loving and don't trust outsiders, particularly, particularly those who are fighting in the Clone Wars. Okay, things I liked about this episode. First off, despite the fact that Anakin is in the episode, I do like how it focuses on Ahsoka and Ayla, where Ayla, and what I mean by that is that Ayla actually kind of teaches Ahsoka in this episode, and I do like that. I do show that the Jedi aren't regiment to the point where just because a Padawan has a master who is still technically alive, they're not getting training and teachings from others. So I did like that they showed this. And they do show it to some degree in other episodes. We do see Ahsoka learning from the clones and learning from Obi-Wan as well. But this really highlights it a lot. I also liked the little creatures that they discovered on the planet. They I swear to God, they reminded me of lemurs, and I just adore lemurs. I think they are the cutest and cuddliest of the primates. Um, so I just, I really liked them. I, lo I love the design for them. Um, also, as always, Ahsoka was one of the things I loved about this episode. She was um, a highlight of this episode for me, as she is one of my favorite characters from Star Wars. You can um, see she made my top ten favorite Jedi list my top 10 favorite Star Wars women's women list and my top 20 favorite um Star Wars characters list um she's also a member of one of my favorite races um as well we're also officially introduced to um Ayla Sakura um we do see her in episode two and I think briefly in episode one um, the Phantom Menace and Attack of the Clones, but we don't know who she is, so we officially get to meet her in this episode, which I really like. Um, she is voiced by Jennifer How, I believe is how you say her last name in this series, and like Ahsoka, she is a member of one of my favorite Star Wars races. Um... Her skin color is also one. Of, that's also my favorite color, but that's not one of the reasons why I like it better. Um, she also, like Ahsoka, made my top ten favorite Jedi list and my top ten favorite Star Wars women's list. And if my top twenty favorite Star Wars characters list didn't include um, characters from the movies and the books, she probably would have made that list too. But she wasn't too far off from the cutoff point, so. She, she, like, actually is, like, number 24 um, in that area, so she was actually really very close to making that list. She just, you know, the, the new kids, um, Finn, Poe, um, Ray, and BB kind of moved her down a little bit, unfortunately, so, but, yeah, I mean, that was one of the things I liked about her, and we will see more of Ayla later, so... Um, look forward to that. Okay, things I didn't like about this episode. Um, I really didn't like that they had to ask for help at least twice before the headmen of the little lemur people, as I like to call them, because they aren't officially given a name in this episode, um, actually agreed to send a healer to, um, with them to treat Anakin. And the reason why I didn't like this is that this headman said that they are 
seeking peace. And they came to this planet seeking peace. And okay, I get that. They were. They, they, I, I totally respect that and whatnot. But does that mean that you're not going to help someone who is in desperate need of help? Um, also, I didn't put it on here, but I also didn't like how when he and Ayla are talking after um, Ahsoka and Blythe and the healer go to help Anakin, he is almost forcing his views on Ayla, and I didn't, I really didn't like that either, but I I didn't put it in here. I'm, I'm like, okay, they're, they're doing this to show that this is how his people feel. I get that, so that's why I really didn't put that on there. Um, but I didn't like how they had to ask for help twice, how they said that they need help, one of them's hurt, and he basically turned them flat down because they're fighting in a war. It's like, really? Okay, um, question of the week. What did you think of the little creatures from the planet? Did you like them? Did you love them? Did you think they were, um, like, like me, did you think they were, looked like cute little lemurs with clothes on? Did you just, did you not like their design? Um, please let me know in the comment section. Also, please note that in five weeks, um, Monday will be opening up for a TV re talk review, and I would just like to know what you guys would like me to do for that. You have four choices, and they are Game of Thrones, Mountain Monsters, Superman the Animated Series, and Fruit Baskets. Or Fruits Basket, excuse me. Um, also, in eight weeks, Thursday will be opening up for a new TV talk series, as I will be done with Big O by then. And again, I would just like to know what you guys would like me to do for that in your choices. Again, you have four choices, and they are Avatar the Last Airbender, Knights of the Zodiac, Once Upon a Time, and Bidden. Um, voting is very simple. Um, there will be f eight like if you want slips in or comments in the comment section. Um, four f the four for Monday and the four for Thursday, and all you have to do is like or love whichever one you want for Monday and like or love whichever one you want for Thursday. Whichever one gets the most votes will be the one that I'll do. Right now it is Game of um, Game of Thrones is in the lead for Monday and Avatar The Last Airbender is in the lead for Thursday. Um, please note that you have until Monday, September 11th to make cast your votes for Monday's TV Talk series as Tuesday, September 12th. I will be announcing the winner for that one. And you have until Thursday, September 21st to cast your vote for Thursday's TV Talk series as Friday, September 22nd. I will be announcing the winner for that one. So, you know, please make your vote, your voices known and cast your votes. Um, also, please note that in the event of a tie or no votes, I have the final decision. Um, so please keep that in mind. Um, feel free to leave your comments and questions in the comment section. I do love to read those and I have been getting some good ones. Also, please like and subscribe. That helps me out a lot. And feel free to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I will have the links in the description section, or I will try to have the links in the description section if you're having problems getting to my Twitter page and my um, Instagram page. Um, please let me know in the comment section so I can fix that. But they're also right down here. Uh, they're not the links, but they're my um, the names I go by there because I use a completely different... Um, link up or um, um, email address for those than I do for this, so please keep that in mind. Um, also, please note that all pictures seen within this video belong to their respective artists. I own absolutely nothing. Okay, please check out my related Star Wars videos. And of course, my other TV Talk Star Wars videos. And feel, free to and feel free to check out my other TV Talk videos and my other videos. You'll see I added two new um, comic dub ones. They are My Little Pony ones, so if you're not interested in My Little Ponies, um, please note that The Youngest Immortal and Special are My Little Pony. Um, and before I sign off, I just want to say one thing, and that is if you would like to know more about 
Ayla Sakura and Ahsoka Tano. Please check out the Life of Videos created by the Cantavina, I believe is how you say the name of this um, channel. Um, he did um, two wonderful videos on these two ladies. Um, I will have the links in the description section. And to learn more about the Twi'leks and the Tarugas, please check out the Twi'lek the videos by Sci-Fi Soup. He did two wonderful videos on their um, these two species, and I will have the links in the description section. Uh, I will also have the links for um, the three top lists I mentioned in the description section as well. Um, as always, thank you for watching, and may the Force be with you.